Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I'm really, really super excited to bring to you guys an overclocking guide that is very easy, very safe, and you can test it and it will max your GPU out, okay? And I will also teach you how to undervolt as well, which I'm not a too big a fan of, but I will tell you the pros and cons of it and we'll talk about that a little bit as well. First of all, you'll need two software. So I've done a overclocking through MSI Afterburn for any GPU so this is just for AMD GPUs okay through the AMD software so that's basically it over here and now the other so this is one piece of software that you'll need the other piece of software is MSI combustor okay I'll put a link in the comments and you can download that and install it so after you've installed both so I'm um, this is not a thorough guide where I'll be showing you how to install these so this is a guide that is basically saying that you know enough to be able to install these softwares on, on your computer now if you do not know how to do that please do put in the comments that you don't know how to do that and I will be more than happy to do another video where I go through everything okay and how to install it from ground zero so before we continue I'd like to let you guys know that this channel completely survives on your subscriptions I'm a one-man show so if you appreciate that please do subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you can watch the videos that way it'll support honest straightforward reviews and will ensure that I can make more of these videos let's get into this as you open it you'll have home gaming recording whatnot go into performance okay one thing I want you guys to note over here before anything is matrix okay so go into matrix go into overlay and turn on your turn this on so it, it'll show you what your GPU is doing how much it's getting utilized most of all what the FPS is at your fan speed your junction temperature which is the important one the current temperature I'm, I'm not too fast on power everything CPU RAM all that stuff so it'll show you all that so turn that on if you want to game and check your stuff out okay so that's a very easy and comprehensive way of knowing what you're doing at your computer for now I'll turn it off let's go into tuning this is where you'll be doing everything okay first of all you'll have the tuning control so you can overclock it from here manual custom and stuff like that but I'll just leave it at default I'm not going to touch the, any of that I'm not going to touch the CPU you can choose to just have a normal overclock on it I'm not too fast with the overclocking of my CPU my CPU is at 50 5800x most of you guys will have really good cpus out there you're here to overclock your gpu because that's where the bottleneck is the amd software they'll have a few built-in ways to overclock it so one is to undervolt the gpu one is to overclock the gpu then there's another one to overclock the vram then you'll also have other presets like having it in quiet mode balance mode rage mode now some of your gpus have a little flick switch one of them is going to be a quiet mode or a normal mode then the other one would be a performance mode or a rage mode or something like that most of them have it written out when you look at the gpu it'll have like p or q for performance or quiet mode but mine doesn't mine is a sfx black edition rx 6900 xt which i'm using here it has the switch it doesn't signify which way it is so i had to like go through the manuals and it was apparently right away from the uh, gpu and all this stuff so i put it in rage mode if it's got the switch and most of them absolutely do please do flick that switch onto performance mode or rage mode in my circumstance so if you want to just overclock it a little bit and have a, a bit of balance between the sound and the overclocking i'll go balance mode i'll go quiet mode if you like your pc being quiet rage mode it'll ramp up a bit more or you can do these as well what i am going to show you is the custom manual tuning of it and how to check it this is where combustor comes in when we customize stuff like this we'll be using combustor to actually stress test it and see if it's actually working it's really safe it's got a built-in feature where if it overheats or if there's any da danger it'll just shut everything down and the screen goes black and all of these settings will go away and you need to redo it so we'll be doing that constantly we'll be stressing the GPU out it'll crash and all that stuff so that's going to be absolutely normal that's fine first I want you guys to do is get comfortable with your fan noise your fan is what's going to keep your computer cool 
keep your GPU cool. The reason I am not overclocking my CPU is because it's going to heat up a bit more. So it's going to heat up inside the case a bit more. So there'll be less cool air around because the GPU will use some of the cool air, the CPU will use it. Because I'm not bound by the CPU, I'm not overclocking it. I'm not worried too much about that. So I am overclocking this. And I, of course, you can go into your matrix and always run it and go to overlay and turn it on and, and look at where what is happening why are you losing fps or not performing as well this is a great guide there's other tools out there they give you a lot more info but i'm happy with this i use them as well i'm happy with this for some someone who's novus that this will do and also you can have the overlay in a graphic mode as well so this shows i i feel like that uses a bit of my gpu power i just leave it at this i'm very happy with the normal overlay okay and let's go back into tuning custom tuning first of all i want you guys to get comfortable with the fan so this might look overwhelming i'm going to go step by step with you guys so it's going to be nice and easy nothing to stress out about too much okay so first things first i would like you guys to look at these temperatures enable this and look at these two temperatures so the fan right now is completely off which is done by the zero rpm so it's a thing that amd introduced where if the gpu is not getting used or used minutely like eight percent ten percent it just turns off the fan and lets it heat up to about 44 degrees i'm not a big fan of that because this is a gaming rig i jump on here to game i play games on it so i want my gpu to be cooled i don't care about noise i'm using a bang and olufsen bo play h9 noise cancelling headphones they just cancel all the noise out even at 100 fan noise i feel like that's a really good way for me it works so first things first i want you guys to do is just shut this off disable this then i want you guys to enable advanced control so this gives you the temperature and celsius and everything and then i want you to guys to click on fine tune controls like this opens this apply all these settings and you can hear up your fan would be starting to kick up so as you can see my fan is starting to go to about a thousand rpms and the temperature is about the same still what i want you guys to do is don't worry about all these other ones i want you to increase this to maybe let's say start off with 50 ish so fan speed about 50 the bottom one so the p1 is this p2 is that p3 is this so you can do this sort of stuff and that's that's the y axis is the x axis is going to move the temperature whereas the y axis will move the fan speed so let's go to 50 and click apply your your fans would ramp up and if you're someone like me if you're using headphones and you're not too worried about it bump it up i want you to get to the maximum fan speed that you're comfortable with because that's going to provide the best conditions for your gpu it'll keep it nice and cool see already the temperature has fallen down to 39 just at 50 percent fan speed even at 100 percent, i can't hear it when i'm playing games and i've got my noise cancellation headphones on and i'm pretty close to my pc as well i've even done it at a very 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 hot day where it's been like 38 degrees with no air conditioning in the room and i've been fine ideally 100 percent would be nice which is what i run it at let's think i am running this so we'll do that at 100 percent. but le let's leave it at 50 for now okay and i'm, I'm doing it at 50 for 40 because the junction temperature goes under 40 at 50 degrees okay so i'm not too fussed about that i even do it like at 40 my little thing as long as it's under 40 degrees it'll go to 50 then it'll just jump up to 100 that's something you guys can play around with what i do is at 45 i do 90 for example that's just me you guys do not have to do this you guys can do whatever fan speed you want i do it like this when i'm logging in and the game is downloading for 10 minutes it's not just the fan as soon as i log in the fan speed's 100 the fan speed's just sitting at uh, 40 which is a nice 1700 rpms and the junction temperature is 37 degrees which is really really cool it's nice and cool in there for it and what i do is when i'm gaming it if it goes it will always go beyond 45 so it'll bump up to 90 and if it goes to 50 i want it to just crank it up all the way so that's fan tuning done so what i want you guys to do is just put it at a regular speed if you can and whatever you're comfortable with so if your 80 percent is your comfort noise comfort mode then put 80. the next thing i want you guys to do is power tuning this is very easy all you do is enable it okay and max out the power consumption this gives it a tiny bit of a boost i think it's 15 percent or something like that it gives it that extra bit of juice to be able to overclock after we've done that what i want you guys to do is vram tuning some people don't like doing the vram tuning before they've done the clock speed tuning
thing. I don't mind doing this. I get, get it out of the way. So all you do is enable it, then enable advanced controls, and then you make your VRAM go all the way, whatever you can. So apply all that. All of it is done. That's very simple, very straightforward. Now I've already overclocked this and I've played it. So I know exactly the overclock speed that I will require. So I'm not going to jump through and be like, oh, I don't know what's it at. So I'll try 2300 or whatever. I'll, I know what I want. I, I, I can achieve it. Basically the GPU, just enable that and then enable the advanced controls. This is where under vaulting would happen. For now, don't touch that, leave it at maximum. And let's say your GPU's maximum is like mine. So mine is about 2785, but I'll leave it 10 under. Two seven eight nine what i want you to do to do is take 400 out of whatever your max clock speed is and put it here so 400 out of 2780 is 2380 that's your minimum clock speed because i don't want it to just jump down and when it's not getting used the fans come off and then you're having a performance game and then when it needs it it just stutters that tiny bit and you get killed so i don't want it to do that that is it what i want you guys to do is when i do this it's at 2489 so yours would be like this. It'll be at some random number where it can overclock very easily. So at start, what I want you guys to do is jump by 100. Okay, so I'll go to 2590. Then increase this one as well. So we'll go 2190. That's basically just testing it out. I'm just showing you guys how to test your GPU to the maximum amount. Let's open Combustor. So this is basically Combustor and we'll do a stress test and bang. That's it simple easy and we we'll let it run for about three minutes and i think you guys can hear the fans just absolutely getting killed it's just turned it all the way up so the gpu utilization went up to 99 also the temperature has gone to 66 so if you guys remember my aggressive fan curve anything over 50 would get the gpu fans to go absolutely bonkers so it's gone crazy at 33 over 3300 rpms the vram that's being utilized is 2058 which is well below what I have allocated for it. Let's give this a run for about three minutes, okay? <laughs> I've just jumped and chopped it because I have a another video where I use MSI Afterburner to overclock. And in that, I just show you guys exactly what happens when there's a crash and things like that. I'll try and show that in here as well, but I'll try and keep the video nice and short, not too long, because otherwise it gets really long. That's basically, it works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. All you do is just close combustor and that's it for the stress test stress test is done so this will cool back down and then you'll hear my fans going lower and the rpms getting lower as well if you are just interested in overclocking this is the point where i want you guys to stop the video and go and play around with your computers now what i want you guys to appreciate at the same time as well before you go is that i'm a one-man show so if you guys have any questions please do follow the video first completely watch the video before trying to implement it and follow the rules i've got a lot of people commenting on my how to videos that how does this work how does that work just try it first you know and it will work okay if you're interested in under vaulting so this is the point of the video where i'll be under vaulting it everything that i've done till now this is what you got to do okay so once you've gotten to a mark where your computer is safe then what i want you to do is start under vaulting this is the only thing that you need to do to under vault i know my under vaulting is very safe around this mark what i'll do is i'll just apply that i've applied it so that's a tiny bit of an under vault back to combustor and let's kick it off off again <laughs> now what i want you guys to understand is for the novices out there who are watching this video you can't just copy all my results and paste it into your settings and expect it to work because of the silicon lottery now if you do not know about the silicon lottery or you would like to re get re-educated about it i've got a video i'll put it up there to the right side you can click it now go watch it and come back or later on and i'll put it in the comments as well it explains the silicon lottery every gpu is different okay even if it's the exact same one with the black edition or black limited edition or whatever and you've got the black edition i've got the black edition they'll still be minutely different hence you'll have different results so i don't want you guys to just copy it i want you to watch the video and i want you to do what i've just done over here everything's fine that undervolt works marvelously so what i'll do is i'll put this aside and i'll try and undervolt it a tiny bit more what i want you guys to do is with undervolting it's a bit different so i want you guys to go down by 10 every single time click out of that apply it run another stress test let's hope that we can undervolt it even further
While it's running this test, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about undervolting and why I'm not a big fan of it and I don't worry about it. I appreciate it. There's guys out there that love it. They might be a bit triggered that I'm saying this, but it's just my experience and it's just my point of view. And if you disagree, that's fine. You can obviously comment and let me know in a respectful manner and, and I'll, I'll let you guys know as well. What I want you guys to look at is the junction temperature. It's at 85 degrees. That's where the hottest point on your GPU die is. This current temperature means nothing. If this gets too hot, it'll crash. I've undervolted it quite a bit. I don't see any improvement and it's still running quite hot. The point of undervolting your computer is to ensure that it doesn't run as hot. I see a point of undervolting your computer is if you do not want to overclock it. I don't see a point of overclocking it then under undervolting it. If I'm overclocking, I would like the maximum performance FPS I can get. So that's why I don't see a point of it. Basically, 1100 is my best undervolt for my computer. That's how you undervolt it. If you, you get to 1100 without, without a problem, you can just do a, t a three minute test and if it's running fine, just reduce it another 10. So a 1090, 1080 after that and keep doing three minute tests and see how much you can undervolt it by and if you're happy with it in the end that's what you save it as if it crashes during a game session come back and increase your undervolting it for some people you might be fine to undervolt it for three minutes at 1100 but if you play a game for an hour it might crash it might be due to this i'm not saying it's definitely due to this but it might be one last thing i would like you guys to do is click save i hate these little icons for some reason i always feel like this has to be saved this is load but yeah not the arrows just this side so it's i've always clicked that and overridden my save file save it somewhere best overclock save then that's it and you save it as your overclocking tool that's basically it guys if you love the video please do drop it a like because it helps other people find it please do share it around with anyone who you think would benefit from this if you'd like to see a overclocking video about nvidia gpus please do let me know in the comments as well and i've also linked the msi afterburner overclocking video that i've got as well in the comments and in this video as well so if you guys want you can feel free go watch that that'll help out the channel a lot as well thank you so much for watching to the end take good care bye bye